This is the 13 inch M1 MacBook Air and it has two ports. So it has two USB-C ports on the side and then just has a headphone jack on the other side. And as a YouTube content creator, I am missing a lot of ports I needed for my peripherals, such as a card reader, an external hard drive, plug in my better camera for a webcam to replace the one in the MacBook Air, as well as a decent microphone for recording my videos on. As you can see, there's already four peripherals that I need to attach to the MacBook Air. In today's video, I'm reviewing the Ultra Smart 5-in-1 TKL mechanical keyboard. As you can see, I managed to plug in all my peripherals into the hub. It's a Kibo Hub EE01 model from whatgeek.com. And it's a Kickstarter that they're starting up, which I'll link at the end of the video. At the back of the keyboard, there's five ports. The first one is the USB-C, uh, USB 3.0 up to five gigabytes per second. So one thing to note is the USB-C1 and the USB-A1 have a 1.5A charging capability. So as you can see here, I actually plugged in a cable, a USB-C into the back of the keyboard. Um, there's a USB-A next to it. And I have an output LED to show me how many watts is going through. So it's four watts charging my camera. So all three USB type A is USB 3.0, five gigabytes per second. So I want to do a bit of a test here using my SanDisk Extreme external hard drive, uh, which supports USB 3.0. And uh, I plugged it into the USB-C port on the left. You can see the diagram and on the MacBook USB-C port on the right hand side. And as I'm looking at the numbers, you can see there's a bit of a difference. It is a bit slower using the USB-C port on the keyboard. As the test is showing, it's consistently showing about 200 megabytes per second slower write speed and about 50 megabytes per second slower on read speed using the USB-C port keyboard versus the Mac USB-C port. And the last thing is the HDMI port, which supports up to 4K 60 Hertz. Here, I just wanted to check to see it can support my resolution, and it does, and it supports up to 60 hertz, and there's no issues at all. The next thing is the keyboard itself is 87 keys. There's no keypad or number pad, and has 18 RGB lights that you can customize. So you can see some of the samples here of the different RGB um, colors. You can also adjust the color and brightness and the letters light up, which I really like. It's not just an underglow behind the keycaps, but the actual letters light up, which is nice. So another thing is it's a swappable switches. So if you don't like the blue switch, which I have here, you can switch it for a red or brown switch. And it's compatible with three or five pin switches. So here's the actual switch itself that uh, comes from the keyboard. So this is the blue switch I have. You can kind of listen to it here. Uh, when you purchase it, you can choose a blue, red, or brown switches to customize your keyboard. And you can see that this is a three pin at the bottom there. Overall good quality switch. And this is a never scratch off characters, which is nice. As you can see, I'm rubbing it off, trying to scratch it off. And it's double inject ABS keycap. And as I can shine the light behind it, it's, again, the letters show very clearly, which is very nice. This concludes my video of the ultra smart five in one mechanical keyboard from whatsgeek.com. It's excellent build quality, five additional built-in ports without having to purchase an additional USB hub. And the fact that it also allows you not only to use your peripherals, but two ports allow you to charge your peripherals at the same time. 
On top of that, the ability to swap out keyboard switches to customize it to your style or needs is greatly appreciated. Just a note that this is both Mac and Windows compatible. I do have a Dell laptop that I also use it with and there was no issues whatsoever. This is a Kickstarter campaign, so I'll leave a link in the description below. It does give you an early bird pricing as well as different perks for reaching the campaign goals. If you have any questions about the keyboard, please leave it down below. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.